All right, we're going to solve for z in this equation, uh, which is just a logarithm with a base of 7. We'll have to rewrite this in uh, exponential form. You could put this into a calculator, I suppose, but uh, I actually don't know how to get a base 7 into the calculators that I have. However, the good thing is, is and uh, we're not going to learn it in Math 980, but in Math 1010, you'll learn the change of base property for logarithms. Uh, which uh, I'll show you in this video, but uh, and I have other videos explaining that kind of stuff, but for the class that uh, most of you guys are watching this for, uh, that that's not really going to help you out. So this is what I would do. And again, this is just based on what we've learned so far. I'm just going to exchange this logarithmic form for exponential form. And that gives me 7 to the power of z equals 49, as you see here. And 49 is 7 squared, so I have 7 squared equals 7 to the power of z. Uh, now that we have like bases, we can rewrite this using only the exponents. And I get 2 equals z. Now once again, we haven't learned this yet in this class, but using the change of base property, uh, we can actually change the format of this original expression here. Log base 7 of 49 and if we change the base to the common logs, uh, you could use a natural log if you wanted to, but common logs uh, are just a little bit more, well, common. So uh, if I were to do that, I would have the log of something divided by the log of something. And these are, again, common logs. And so the, fir the, the numerator, it's the log of the 49, which we saw here. And the log in the denominator is of the base which is 7 and if you put this into a calculator log 49 divided by log 7 which you can do you would still get the same 2 that we have here so as it turns out z still is 2 that didn't matter uh, it's just showing you a different way to solve this